Are you ready to journey into one of the most unsettling mysteries of the 19th century? Hit subscribe and join us as we uncover the chilling tale of the Devil's Footprints in Devon, a mystery that has defied explanation for over a century. The Devil's Footprints, the chilling tale of Devon's unsolved mystery. In February 1855, in the heart of Devonshire, England, the small, quiet towns along the XA estuary awoke to a landscape altered by an inexplicable event. The previous night had seen a heavy snowfall across the area, blanketing fields, forests, and rooftops alike. But the morning revealed something that would leave the residents unsettled, and eventually all of Europe abuzz with speculation. Covering the fresh snow were tracks that could only be described as supernatural. They were hoof-like, cloven, and measured just over two inches wide, continuing in a single file line that stretched over a hundred miles. The phenomenon would soon gain infamy as the Devil's Footprints. These mysterious tracks led to questions that, to this day, remain unanswered. Were they left by an animal? A natural phenomenon? Or something far more sinister? A morning of unsettling discoveries. The morning was cold, clear, and bitter as locals ventured out into the wintry landscape. At first, they noted the beauty of the snow-laden scenery, but this quickly turned to dread as they observed the strange hoof-like impressions that spanned the area. From doorsteps to high rooftops, across frozen rivers, over haystacks, through gardens and fields, the tracks seemed to defy logic. Locals from each village passed on news of the strange footprints, spreading both fear and fascination. Eyewitnesses, initially dismissing it as a prank or odd occurrence, became increasingly convinced that something unnatural was at play. The tracks seemed to appear and disappear in impossible places, as though whatever left them had no need to obey earthly laws of physics. Were the tracks made by a creature that could walk through solid objects, or even fly? Word of the mystery traveled beyond Devon's borders and captured the attention of journalists, scientists, and natural theorists across Britain. A wave of speculation swept through the towns, with residents fearful of what might have left such footprints. Some spoke in hushed voices, wondering if the devil himself had come to haunt their peaceful villages. Scientific Explanations and Speculation Despite the villagers' fears, a number of naturalists and scientists attempted to explain the phenomenon through rational means. Some proposed that an unusual animal could be responsible, perhaps an escapee from a traveling menagerie. Others suggested it could have been the work of otters or badgers, whose footprints had been altered by the night's cold. However, these theories failed to account for the hundreds of sightings and the scale of the tracks, which spanned areas that would be impossible for a single animal to cover in one night. A series of highly improbable explanations were also offered. Some believed it was caused by a swarm of hopping toads, each creating similar prints. Others considered meteorological causes, proposing that freezing conditions and a strange wind pattern had somehow etched the marks into the snow. 
These explanations seemed almost as unlikely as the devil himself. Yet, they did little to dispel the villagers' terror. As the tracks continued to appear and stretch for miles, word reached even the papers in London. From there, the story crossed the English Channel, capturing attention in France and Germany. One German paper suggested that the marks were an atmospheric phenomenon, akin to lightning strikes creating similar shapes on the ground. This theory, however, did little to calm those who had seen the footprints in person, noting their precise, unnatural formation. Religious Interpretations and the Rise of Fear For many Devonshire locals, the religious implications were difficult to ignore. The mid-19th century was an era steeped in Christian belief, and many immediately suspected that the hoofprints were a sign of something demonic. Clergy from various parishes warned against viewing the tracks as mere animal marks, instead encouraging villagers to think of them as reminders of the devil's lurking presence, sent to test their faith. Some villagers were convinced the footprints were an omen, a physical manifestation of evil walking among them. They reported feeling an overwhelming dread when they neared the tracks, and whispers of sighting spread, eerie shadows, distant sounds, and glimpses of dark figures in the periphery of lantern-lit nights. Churches across the area saw an increase in attendance in the days following the discovery, as many believed only prayer could protect them from the dark force they imagined prowling the countryside. As the weeks passed, no further explanations emerged, and the footprints faded into history. However, many Devonshire families kept the memory alive, passing the story down through generations as a reminder of the eerie winter when the devil himself seemed to walk among them. Enduring Theories and Modern Explanations Over time, the tale of the devil's footprints became folklore, with each retelling adding more supernatural details. But modern skeptics argue that the tracks could be explained by a simple combination of natural occurrences. Some scientists believe it could have been a rare weather phenomenon that altered animal tracks in peculiar ways. Others suggest that locals, overcome by superstition, exaggerated the scope and appearance of the tracks. Yet questions linger. How could footprints appear to climb vertical walls, cross wide rivers, and even pass through small openings without interruption? And how did these marks cover so much distance overnight, stretching over 100 miles in a continuous line? With each retelling, the story of the devil's footprints takes on an even more mysterious and haunting tone. Closing Reflections To this day, the devil's footprints remain one of history's most baffling mysteries. The enigma has inspired tales of the supernatural, rational theories, and religious warnings. In Devonshire, memories of that snowy morning in 1855 still persist, kept alive by the descendants of those who witnessed it. But the essential question remains, what, if anything, truly left those footprints? Perhaps we'll never know, but as long as there's fresh snow and a quiet night, the story of the devil's footprints will haunt the imaginations of those who dare to remember. If the unexplained fascinates you, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on our journey into history's strangest stories.